What is up people? This is Vyas HQ and today we're gonna set a Raspberry Pi to be a UPnP media renderer. So let's get started. First thing, I'd like to thank the author SC Phillips from scphillips.com. I use this blog as a reference to install the media renderer. All the detailed instructions and explanations are given onto his blog spot which I'll link down below. Shown here is the GitHub page of the GS Media Resurrect. G Media Resurrect is a form of the G Media Renderer, but this was partly developed by Edzella. This too contains all the script that is required to be run to install the Media Renderer. UPnP stands for Universal Plug and Play. It is a set of networking protocols that permits network devices to stream data onto other devices. Gmedia Renderer is a UPnP media renderer for POSIX compliant systems such as G the Linux or the Unix. It implements the server components that provides UPnP controllers a means to render media content. In short, we would be able to stream media such as audio or video or images onto the Raspberry Pi using your own device.
just like, man, you gotta have that time where you just like disconnect from the, from the scene, just the, the, the race. Using the line below, you can open the configuration file for the Gmedia renderer, which would allow you to change the name of the device to be displayed. I changed mine to Pi, but it can be changed to the area over which you're going to implement the device. After this setup, the only thing required would be connecting a pair of 3.5mm speakers with the Raspberry Pi and connecting them to a, power, to a power source and using the Raspberry Pi with the setup as a wireless boombox. In this segment, let's get a UPnP application from the Play Store. We'll just open up the Play Store and search for UPnP. I'll be using Bubble UPnP as I have experience with it from earlier, but other applications can also be used. Let's let it download and install. Once it's done installing, open up the app. Now you have two options to skip or see the tutorial, whatever you like. Then just side swap, just side swap it and you'll be able to see your device onto it. Just make sure that both your, your device and the Raspberry Pi are connected onto the same network. This will show all the information regarding the Raspberry Pi and all. Now the only thing left to do is to play a music or video or the image. I have my own collection of audio files onto my local drive of the Android device and I'll be selecting one of them to stream onto the Raspberry Pi. One good thing is that the volume of the Raspberry Pi can be controlled using the volume rocker on the Android device. So thank you people for watching, like this video or dislike it, share it, leave a comment and see you next time. Ta -da.